hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to link evernote and todoist let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in for both accounts using your credentials if this is your first time here in todoist i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Linking Evernote and Todoist can help you streamline your productivity by allowing you to manage notes and tasks in one place. Of course, there are a few ways to integrate Evernote with Todoist depending on the platform and tools you prefer to use. Now, one of the best options is I want you to log in for both accounts so it's kind of like easy to integrate. The first thing that I suggest for you is to go to the Todoist once you're logged into your todoist account i want you to hover to the integrations section now in the integrations panel i want you to search for evernote type it in and press enter what will happen is you would be forwarded here and click on the evernote so you can seamlessly create todoist tasks from evernotes and vice versa click that and you would be forwarded to this section right here that says there's like a orange button for you to click to add todoist if you link these platforms to double your productivity, all right, you can turn your words into actions anytime you're writing in Evernote and add your selected tag to a note. A Todoist tasks is automatically created with a link to that note. Click this orange button. Now, basically, you have to open the Todoist IF Triple T channel and click the connect button. All right, it's kind of like a third party platform that connects these accounts all right and if you haven't grid if you haven't already you might want to click the sign up button i'm going to continue with a google account which which i used for both todoist and evernote see this one i'm gonna click on continue you will be forwarded there but let's skip that for now and there you go now here on the search bar i want you to search applets or services type in think evernote and todoist so you have all these all right you see todoist evernote gtd or add a task to todoist inbox for every note tag with todoist and evernote you have so much options to choose from all right but how about we just choose the todoist to evernote which is this one sync evernote and todoist I click that you would be forwarded to this section right here where you can simply click this button to connect it all right it takes a little while it's a two-way syncing of evernotes and todoist tasks and just like that they will have these all right if you sign in if triple t is requesting access to your todoist account click the agree button all right you would be forwarded here there's a kind of like a status bar for you to wait it takes a little while now all i have to do is authorize all right now in here you can authorize for one year 30 days one week or one day let's try this like testing waters for now and again you may revoke access at any time by going to applications in your account settings you would have to make sure you read and understand all these i triple t.com will be able to create notes notebooks and tags update notes notebooks and tags a list notebooks and tags and retrieve notes all right click the authorize option connecting now here and there you go we're almost done all right so for the evernote tag you see there's kind of like this option which project will it uh go all right so for now let's gonna search let's choose the default which is gonna be the inbox and if you have like a due date Let's skip that for now it's optional anyway for the priority which is optional you can choose something like most urgent for priority one for priority two priority three and priority four it's less urgent let's skip that for now and this is going to be this so let's say for example this is going to be for deep labs description is this now creating ever evernote note for to do is task with labels read project to watch any project or you can select the inbox if you want for notebook which is optional maybe deep laps 
And finally, you need to click the save button. This is going to be your ID. Click the save button. Now, it is connected successfully. You can also notify, you can click this button to notify you if there's going to be like a problem creating um, syncing Evernote into the list. Now, you can test waters to see if it's working. Click the create option here. For example, if this maybe... Um, to do is all right suggest a new trigger for example new task created and for the project create a trigger and that's going to be for evernote whichever you want or you can reverse the process if you want all right create a note you see that create action click and continue click on finish you want matter of fact what we can do is rename this one finishing all right connected now we're going to reverse the uh section because if this is to do is to evernote how about we create another one which is going to be for example um for evernote let's reverse the process click that now the trigger is you can add a specific tag to note all right and then for this specific tag right here create a trigger for the uh, and then add the to do is available service basically create a task it's kind of easy all right you can put in a note right here to date Select the priority, maybe less urgent for now, task description, and click the create action. All right. Click the create action. Click on continue and finish. Now you have successfully linked your Evernote to Todoist. There is another option though, which is which is using the Zapier. You can integrate Evernote with Todoist here easily. Integrate for free. Click this button right here, like this one, all right? You have to choose the trigger. Say this, you can add tag Evernote to do to do list. But the thing is, this requires kind of like um, background knowledge. If you don't have any coding background, you're going to be having a hard time uh, following these uh, steps. So I highly suggest you use the uh, local integration using the if triple t all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one